Hey everybody, I'm Dave Hecker, and in today's Country Guide, we're going to talk about one of the oldest and most established outsourcing destinations in the world, India. India has been in the outsourcing game for a, a long time. Uh, they're the original uh, big outsourcing destination uh, of the world. Uh, it started years and years ago mostly with call centers, uh, but now uh, they're doing tons of software development, uh, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, India is uh, a much maligned uh, destination. Um, all the uh, train wreck jokes uh, about offshore disasters are usually directed towards India. Some of that is well-deserved, not all of it is. Um, I love India personally. Uh, I lived in India for some time uh, and I used to send a lot of work there and have spent a lot of time there, uh, but now I don't so much. So let's jump into the pros and cons of outsourcing to India. First, the pros. Uh, India has pretty good prices. Uh, it's fluctuated over the years. Uh, sometimes the prices go up, sometimes down. But one thing is for sure is that there's a lot of people in India uh, and there's IT grads coming out of really good schools all the time. So there is a massive supply uh, and it's more than enough to meet the massive demand of outsourcing clients. Uh, so that keeps prices down. That's one of the great things about India. Um, there are also a lot of experienced developers in India. Um, it's been going on for a long time. There are mature managers that have 10 years or more of experience. Uh, there are really good schools. It's a fairly well-developed uh, educational infrastructure, and there's a lot of companies that have been doing this for a long time, lots of experience. Um, another advantage is that uh, people in India would generally speak English, especially those who have been through uh, university and are in the IT, IT world. Uh, so that language barrier uh, still exists, and we'll talk about that, but they do speak English in India. Uh, culturally, it's, it's a mixed bag. Uh, they do understand American culture pretty well. Americans and Indians tend to, tend to get along uh, business-wise, uh, but that can also be misleading because there's some areas where there's misunderstandings, and we'll talk about that next. Uh, so with that, let's move on to the cons. Um, these sort of relate to the pros in interesting ways, as you're going to see. Uh, the prices are cheap in India because there's so much supply, there's so many developers. This is also a con. Uh, it leads to massive attrition. This is the number one problem in India today. And by attrition, we're talking about uh, people who are at a company uh, who leave that company for another company. Uh, that's attrition. Another problem is that even though we said there's a lot of experienced managers in India, uh, there's also a billion people over there and they're hard to find. So you have uh, thousands and millions of experienced managers, but tens and hundreds of millions of juniors, so it's kind of hard to get a hold um, of those senior uh, managers, and especially with all the attrition, everybody's jumping around, uh, it becomes even harder. Uh, and that's a major disadvantage and a struggle with India. Um, another uh, con is the culture and the language. We talked about how they do speak English, uh, and that's very handy. Um, they speak it with a pretty good accent, and when you get on the phone the first time, you're speaking English and they're fluent. Um, this can be very misleading. The way that Indian people speak English uh, is they use the same words. Uh, we understand exactly what they said, but there's a lot of idiom and there's a lot of different meanings. And sometimes they'll say something and you have 100% comprehension of the words, but you don't really know what they meant uh, and the reverse. Um, another con is just the general quality. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, Indian developers are, are no good. And that's really unfair. Uh, I know some incredibly great Indian developers. The reason we see so many quality problems is because while there is great quality, on average there's too many juniors, there's too much attrition, uh, and there's too many issues for, we, for us to look at that as a really high quality uh, destination. As far as traveling to India, it can be pretty rough. Um, it's a long trip by any standard, so that is one disadvantage is that it's pretty far away time-wise uh, and travel-wise. So those are the main cons. Uh, let's talk about some of the culture. Um, first of all, India is a huge place and it is very diverse. Uh, if you go to the north of India, it's going to be really different from the south. People speak different languages and India is a complicated place. So these are wild generalizations, but let's go for it. Um, one thing that Americans aren't used to is that Indians uh, tend to start working later in the morning. Uh, they're rolling into work at 10 or 11 and sometimes American clients get really frustrated with this. Um, but keep in mind that they also tend to work late. So a lot of uh, Indian developers will come in late in the morning, but they're staying till seven or eight at night or even nine at night. Uh, that can take a little bit of an adjustment. Um, and then there's the sort of redelegation uh, concept. We see this a lot in India where you're talking to one developer and they say, I'm gonna take care of this problem for you. 
uh, an American interprets that as thinking, that person will take care of it for you. Uh, in India, sometimes they mean, I'm, I'm going to see that it takes place, and they'll sort of delegate that, they'll re-delegate that uh, to somebody else. And then there's the uh, kind of big face-saving, uh, yes, no uh, culture that happens all around Asia. There's lots of this in India. So bottom line is that India uh, does have some great resources, some great companies and some great developers, but with a billion people and high attrition uh, and, and all these uh, cultural and language barriers that we see, um, we find that it can be a very frustrating destination. Uh, there's a few shops that we really like and we still send work there, but for the most part we steer clients uh, elsewhere. Uh, if you have any further questions, uh, just shoot us a line or give us a call. And otherwise, best of luck with your outsourcing project.